Yes. Uh, hello, wonderful people hearing me out. I welcome you all on Dr. Reena's Physiology Core Crisp Integrated. And let's make it very interesting. So let's start with uh, where we stopped with the last MCQ. So if you remember, this was my last MCQ which I gave you. And it was related to the ionic basis of action potential. So this phase we attributed to the sodium influx. And this phase we attributed to the potassium efflux. And I stopped you at this point that what will happen if you do not allow the sodium channels to close. Remember, at this point, the potential will be plus 35 millivolts. So, if the sodium channels are not allowed to close, what do you think will take place? The resting membrane potential will be altered. The magnitude of the action potential would decrease. The downstroke will not be altered or the phase of depolarization, that is the phase of upstroke would be increased more. Yes. So, the correct answer is definitely D. That is, if you do not allow the sodium channels to close, the sodium influx will continue. Right? The sodium influx will continue. But then, what is the voltage up till which the sodium influx will continue? That is the most important question to be understood. Right? Look on to the other options. RMP will be altered never because make it very very clear that the sodium ions have no contribution to RMP. The sodium ions have got no contribution to RMP. It is the potassium ions that are mainly having their Nernst potential nearest to the RMP. The magnitude of action potential would increase it would increase downstroke will not be altered this is also a wrong option because if you are not allowing the sodium channels to close that means you are not allowing repolarization to take place so what will happen this is something which is going to happen that is an increase and increase and increase in the upstroke so uh, upstroke badte jayega, badte jayega. so normally plus 35 per we expect that the sodium channels should close and the potassium should open but since we did not allow the sodium channels to close they will open 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 and this upstroke will rise 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 but my question is ponce voltage tak the sodium influx will continue so the correct answer is it will open till the RMP or till the membrane potential reaches to plus 65 millivolts because the Nernst potential of sodium is between plus 61 millivolts to plus 65 millivolts. So, jab tak sodium ions apne Nernst potential ko ya Nernst potential tak nahi pohon jayenge tab tak sodium influx will continue. But once this potential becomes plus 65 that is closest to the Nernst potential of sodium. At this point, the, it, even if the sodium channels are open, there is no further sodium influx, right? There is no further sodium influx. This is a very interesting point because what is Nernst potential? Nernst potential is that equilibrium potential at which at which there is no net diffusion of ions it is that potential at which there is no net diffusion of ions that means inside and outside both are same so every ion whether it be potassium be chloride or sodium tries that their Nernst potential should be equal to the RMP however the only winner in this race is potassium the potassium which has got a RMP or which has got a Nernst potential between minus 94 millivolts to around minus 90 millivolts is nearest. The reason is the presence of leakiness for sodium, not for sodium, the leakiness for the potassium ions. So the leaky channels, they mainly favor the potassium ions. So remember that if you do not allow the inactivation of the sodium gates, there will be continued influx of sodium and the sodium will come inside, inside, inside. But 
up till a voltage of plus 65 because at plus 65 the nernst potential of sodium will become equal to that of the rmp and at this stage now there will be no further influx of sodium right now moving on to another interesting question is what is absolute refractory period ka cause this question is related to your uh, sodium channels therefore i just thought that i would take it along with this opening of the calcium channels opening of the potassium channels closure of the activation gates of sodium or closure of the inactivation gates of sodium yes the correct answer is closure of the inactivation gates of sodium this question is very very important and it is very conceptual so for the next 5 minutes open your ears and your mind and let's get started now this is the figure that is showing you the channels okay so if you look into the sodium channels the sodium channels have got a bit uh, you know complicated structure they have got one activation gate which is facing towards the ecf and another inactivation gate which is facing towards the icf now activation and the inactivation gates they exist in three states first is the resting state that is rmp minus 90 second is the activated state minus 92 plus 35 that means when we are depolarizing and inactivated state that means plus 35 to minus 90 when uh, you are bringing back the repolarization to the rmp now one thing which i would like to tell you over here is that activation gate a theek hai activation gate a jo hai wo hamesha active rehte hain aise yaad rakho activation gate a is hamesha active the most important gate that is uh, controlling the influx of sodium is the inactivation gate which is towards the icf in the resting state that is when the rmp is minus 90 millivolts the inactivation gates are open it is just like a ball and socket phenomenon the inactivation gates are open and the activation gates are closed again i repeat the inactivation gates are open and the activation gates are closed so this is the state when you give an adequate that is a threshold stimuli okay so when you give a threshold stimuli that threshold stimuli will open your activation gates and the sodium influx will begin the readiness of the channel depends upon the opened inactivation gate i repeat the readiness of the channel depends upon the opening of the inactivation gate therefore the inactivation gate is more important than the activation gate so resting condition mein the gate or the channel is well set matlab inactivation gate khula hua hai activation gate band hai so jaise hi humne adequate stimulus diya activation gate will open and sodium will come 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 inside or this is the phase where we are expecting this upstroke of depolarization now you know immediately after the latent period the tissue it goes into absolute refractory period that is it does not respond to stimulus even if you give a supra threshold stimuli what happens is once the tissue is uh, once you given a threshold stimulus and there is adequate entry of the sodium ions the inactivation gates they close so the closure of the inactivation gate is actually the cause of the absolute refractory period now you can see that although the inactivation gates are closed but still the activation gates are open iska matlab activation gates agar open bhi hai to kuch khaas fayda nahi hai because it is the inactivation gate which is controlling the influx of sodium isliye during absolute refractory period although the activation gates are open but it is the inactivation gates which have been closed by that particular stimulus or by that particular voltage which are now not going to open even if you allow or even if you give a supra threshold stimuli so the supra threshold stimuli agar aapne diya to bhi inactivation gates nahi khulenge and that is the reason of the absolute refractory period after the absolute refractory period after the one third of the repolarization till the end of the action potential you get relative refractory period and we teach you that in the relative refractory period if you give a supra threshold stimuli the tissue is going to respond to the second stimulus the reason for this is that the inactivation gates of sodium ion are now showing recovery that is they are coming out of their closed state ठीक है सो एब्सोल्यूट रिफ्रैक्टरी पीरियड में आप कितना भी थ्रेश करो वो नहीं खुलेंगे 
once it comes into the relative refractive period you give us rupert ratio stimuli they can open up so boys and girls please remember that the inactivation gates of the sodium ions are much much more important than the activation gates right so the potassium channels they have got a very simple structure this is the resting condition where the gates are closed and this is the activation and they get active at plus 35 when the sodium channels close their channels will open so a very important key is that the sodium has no role in rmp right they have no role in rmp the inactivation gates ka jo closure hai that is responsible for the absolute refractory period if you keep on increasing the sodium concentration this would be the magnitude of the action potential which will increase right so this is all for this question see you next time with another crisp mcq you can put your suggestions on the youtube which topic you want you can join my telegram channel because i'm going to give notes of all of these uh, in that telegram group dr reena's physiology okay synapse for success in physiology is my channel so see you soon till stay tuned with physiology thank you